Traditional Khmer wooden house has a deep historical roots. However, in recent years, there has been a significant increase in the concrete modern high-rise buildings. So I'm having Mr. Hok Sokol, um, a renowned monocular architect, uh, whose expertise is in Khmer traditional wooden house building techniques and materials, um, telling us the trend of Khmer wooden house um, and its impact on tourism and um, the increase of the uh, contemporary architect um, trend. So thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Hoxicle, for giving us your time here. Mm -hmm. And as the your are the architect and also the researchers in uh, the Khmer wooden houses, mm -hmm. it's very, it's quite a knowledge and a study. So as you have been in this field for quite a long time, mm -hmm. uh, what do you see, uh, how do you see a trend of the Khmer traditional wooden house nowadays? Do Cambodian people now still like to live and build wooden house or they prefer um, modern concrete houses more? Yeah. Thank you for uh, my, my uh, Cambodian and uh, for my wooden houses at the moment for my experience or my point of view it seems like a little bit backward to to people that the real local people they prefer not wooden house anymore at the moment yeah. and while the higher I mean the healthy uh, family they like to preserve or wooden house, but uh, based on, you know, like to keep or for display or for collection in their garden or yeah. their property, but also a kind of uh, backward, not, not really a house for functioning for people anymore, but people like to build it for restaurant, for cafe for showroom or some wealthy people some they build it to keep heritage but for display in their garden or in their property something like that yeah so that means they don't really live in wooden house anymore it's like they build uh, it just for the showcase for sure that the real local people they still living on wooden house but if they want to build new they yeah, thinking they... to build concrete house yeah. instead. Uh, why is that so? Is it because that wooden house is really hard to maintain than a concrete house or they follow the trend of the contemporary mm, houses? Uh, possible, but maybe because they, they want, they want uh, something new. Something they want new. something new. And, and they used to live with their parents' house with already wood. If they have a chance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they may sing something. They sing that uh, modern or, 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 you know, uh, on time or, yeah, yeah. you know, like update. <laughs> yeah, they want something different from different, their different. parents' houses, maybe. So um, with this trend, do you think that um, living in the more modern and concrete houses can devalue the Khmer traditional wooden houses? It, here is not mean in a serious uh, concern. What we concern, uh, at the moment we try to train uh, young architect, young builder, everything, to keep building the house, but not following traditional or so, but build new, but at least they have to know about traditional. They build new, but follow up the, I mean, the style, the shape, yeah, yeah. for sure that it look not far from traditional. Otherwise, they think, this is my house. Even my house, I build a, a modern house, but I call that is my house too, because it's my house, because I, bl I blend between traditional and modern yeah, yeah. material. Yeah. But for, for some people, like, they like, mm. easy to say, like copy and paste, like they see on magazine or like they see in, 
new development area from Europe or somewhere. They copy the plan and build that. It means not also a good sign for for Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. So, as you mentioned, I think um, there are still some that in, incorporate the Khmer styles into their um, modern houses. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a concern that. Um, uh, they they still incorporate, um, not concerned much. Yeah. Except the new development they call like Borai or something. Mm -hmm. They they build by their way, but for really uh, individual. That one family or other family that they choose to build. Um, of course, some they build by different way because, like I used to say, they they want the house because they want to build the house to suit their living, yeah, to their lifestyles, suit, to, uh, to suit their life. Yeah. Uh, more of uh, uh, people they like something new, but. Uh, uh anyway the traditional is still 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 continue yep yep looking at the architecture education nowadays do students prefer to study uh, vernacular architecture or do they are more interested in taking the contemporary architecture as the expertise like if we facing the studying uh, year one and year two they are uh, lesson in the class uh, automatically yeah. or even university or private university or government university or uh, some uh, architecture training school they train uh, about uh, traditional wooden houses or traditional monastery like board over here and they, they, they studying, but among the student educated, I can say between 10 to 20 percent, they still focusing and they keep build, uh, they, they like to learn more and they happy to uh, work more on traditional. And I still have a student that uh, interesting and keep continuing study of yeah. uh, traditional architecture with me. Mm -hmm. 10 and 20 percent is quite a small number. So is that concerning that fewer people now really want to look into the traditional architecture? Uh, of course, it's too small, <laughs> but compared to a massive uh, educated student compared to my children. My generation, we have only 30 uh, architect uh, educated per year but at the 30. moment between 1000 to 1200 per year even 10 10 percent of 1000 at least we get 100 architect per year to yeah. to, to continue yep. not not so bad yeah so then then how can um, traditional architects work with contemporary architects in order to build the designs that are modern and at the, at the, the same time with uh, the Khmer traditional style, how mm -hmm. can they work together? It depends to <laughs> individual each each person uh, talent. It means if they have talent on uh, traditional, when they get project to do, they will blend the yeah, yeah. the knowledge of traditional and what we call uh, modern contemporary or. Uh, modern high rise put together it it not is that is a good sign that yeah. uh, people can blend like that but most of uh, among what we call every year it to my architects most they cannot work as professional architect they work like a draftsman or mm. they work under company with the company already set up the plan for their development area, hundred uh, like uh, hundred story building or something, they have to follow up the, the the design from the company, not by their individual. Yeah, so it depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. If, um, like for my personal, I I I freelance. I yeah, yeah. work for myself, and I. People know me, uh, I expert on uh, wooden house. And so 
uh, people come to meet me to talk with me, more often they know already and if they want modern house, they come to me. Yeah. If they want a modern house, they come to me sometimes, but uh, mostly they can go to other people. Yeah, yeah. So now let's talk about the tourism sector here. Mm -hmm. uh, for most of the tourists, do they want to like see more of the Khmer within houses or they prefer more to experience, to, to see the modern houses, like how Cambodia has uh, evolved, like mm -hmm. they have more now like modern houses. Hmm. Good question, because uh, well now about tourists in, in Siem Reap still not so well. Uh, in personal, also my thinking, my experience living in Siem Reap, mm -hmm. I know that uh, tourists, they like, they like to see because they, they see the stone temple with the building for religion with a uh, shoot and plenty of temple. Uh, but the wooden house very rare to explore or to show them more that how people uh, living uh, in 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 now while they have the uh, glory or you know, uh, temple or yeah. famous uh, or go or something, but wooden house rather uh, good too. Uh, the way that we are at the moment, we should promote the wooden house instead of uh, not only the the stone temple, but wooden house. It's still good and still remain in Siem Reap. We should promote, uh, example, like beside they rent or the temple for gala dinner or something, uh, they can have uh, another dinner at Wooden House or party or wedding or any gathering people at the Wooden House as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they can hold the event at the wooden house, but of course, yeah. But 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 then how how can we promote that and like and really tell them that they can do all of that activities in wooden house? It's not easy to, to promote. Uh, yeah. I try to make a book. <laughs> I try to make a video about wooden house and yeah. saying to my to my or Cambodian net that they come interview. I hope all people that uh, all people that they can make a content to yeah, promote yeah. wooden house to uh, media. And I'm sure uh, day by day, one year, two year, or three year later, people or tourists will more and more uh, attractive and want to see what is my <laughs> traditional wooden house, how it look like, what yeah. is the real or pure uh, Khmer house style. Yeah. And then um, what's a specific features of the Khmer wooden house or the monocular architecture that can attract tourists mm -hmm. and how can we effectively showcase that features to um, tourists? No, this is much, much, much good together with the culture. It's a part of culture tourism, not yeah. and not mean uh, other, I said, uh, wooden house is mean a part of culture tourism. And culture tourism, we should be promote in the way it is not promote in just the show. If promote just the show, maybe it will not good for long, uh, for long period. Like uh, traditional dancing, uh, temple or something, we must be made it alive. And then people like to see uh, the activity. Yeah. You said must make it alive, see the activities, yeah. and what about the wooden house? How can wooden we house show it all, alive? It, it, it's still alive. It alive means not abandoned. It means yeah. keep the house functioning. Yeah, yeah. People living, people do something underneath or something. Or, you know, uh, what we call activity of like people have people live in. Not just build the wooden house, just for the background or to show yeah, the tourist, yeah. to they, what I'm, I'm mentioning is completely different. Yeah, so it is to show that there are lives mm -hmm. in that wooden mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. that people Example, live like there. at the moment, like uh, home product, yeah, yeah, people yeah. like to go there beside to see uh, uh, 
uh, temple on the way they can shopping they can see wood and how and we make activity but the village it look like uh, traditional it look like living village not not a fake not folk art not built to show yeah 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 it's like you mentioned uh, like pum prada like pum prada yeah like pum prada but then um like what are the challenges that maybe um the tourism developer face in order to integrate like traditional wooden house or traditional architecture into the modern tourist initiatives uh you know um people when you I mean no one wants someone for you to do something yeah but it has that promote when you see the wooden house like that oh this house it can be with maybe or content in something said something uh, good and value about that and people want to see by itself not it mean for them that oh wooden house good you must go to see you must go to see it's not mean like that but we, we try to promote what is good for which point that is good and day by day when people listen they, they give the value mm-hmm. and then they will see yeah. even my people at the moment they come to see Maria very rare that people skip product yeah. uh, mostly they go uh, almost weekend at the moment like uh, with traffic jam or something like that because they want to see oh how product look like because this is the the way of a, a good example yeah yeah so yeah most people go there to mm-hmm. try food mm-hmm. that um, the village and to... make 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 village Uh, work, live, uh, alive. Yeah, yeah. So as we all know, right now, not only in Siem Reap, but across Cambodia, there are more uh, concrete modern houses built nowadays. Mm-hmm. And so how do these modern houses impact the cultural landscape of Cambodia if we travel to place to places and we don't really see that type of house anymore. We only see the high-rise building, the concrete houses? Uh, of course, it will, uh, will impact or will... But for my concerning, uh, the way to go through, you know, when, when you born, you have to grow from baby to school to adult, married, and then it's the way to go. What is good is still remain. What yeah. is not good will be uh, uh, disappear later. Uh, at the moment, we cannot say that is good or bad. But on the way uh, grow, we want everything grow. But different way of growing. Uh, the result will tell you. Uh, you uh, many people very concerned of the concrete house may make the traditional landscape change yeah. but uh, the way of changing is the way of uh, you people culture because people they like something new like we said from when they get that but the new is not functioning it will abandon later and they will change uh, at the moment you cannot keep what is traditional what is traditional because uh, Until now, the world is mostly blend together. Yeah. And so, but we must blend in a right variety, not blend in a bad variety. I mean, you take the good point of what is modern to blend with Khmer traditional. That what I hope and I wish to see. young architect or... Um, you know, young professional uh, working on building or builder to practice, to yeah, yeah. work on. Yeah, yeah. So how can um, these two types of building coexist mm-hmm. together harmoniously, like the wooden house and the concrete houses? Harmonious <laughs> people <laughs> like the oh, harmony between here and here. Yeah. You think the harmony with that or that? Uh, it depends to the way or oh, you think that okay or not okay. <laughs> uh, 
increase the one that we should concern is the color. Color. And at the moment, uh, some people like to paint the house in orange, yeah. yellow, in or something. But uh -huh. traditional wooden uh, house is only uh, terracotta in red and wood in dark brown yeah. and also brick and stone, something like that, mostly natural color instead of painting. Yes, I saw most houses are painted in pink. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, like I used to say, the, the house suit the owner because the owner wants yeah. that color. It's very bright color. I just come back from province of Rome, uh, Prichma, uh, yeah. at the moment, uh, uh, Bong Khmong province. Uh, many different, like they build nine wooden house, but they extend the thin roof structure to cover the most of like two thirds of the house. Mm -hmm. That they said, oh, make the house steady or uh, protect from the rain or something. I think not so nice, but oh, yeah. the owner wanted it. It's, it be like that. Yeah, it's the individual references mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. So um, I am just curious. That's one question. Like um, in the past, people tend to judge each other based on their houses. Like if you have a big and nicely uh, wood wooden house, it means like you are from a wealthy uh, people. I used to say that uh, the house is so the significant or the level of the owner, the quality. Call it how qualify to the owner of yeah. the the building because the social when classes. they have a big house, many room house or luxury house, it means so the owner very wealthy, or rich, or powerful, or something like that, and the house with low quality, it is so a poor family yeah. or not so wealthy, something like that. How in 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 from the past. The how it's it's shown the level of the quality social classes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> classes. Yeah, yeah, social classes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And what about now with a like do it, it also it's also the same. Yeah. Otherwise, like um, people like we call Okna, they build ten thousand square meter house to live. Right? They want to show the the social class uh, yeah. to them. And while oh, I'm. No more people, I need 100 square meter house, it's enough. But when you have rich or you wealthy, oh, 100 square meter is too small. Even only enough for bathroom, <laughs> just for the storage. But they need shoot or they need pool or they need more garden or something. Yeah, yeah. But um, in today's society, if, for example, I own this type of house, so do people think that I am from a higher social class or maybe I'm, I'm not because I have a wooden house, not a concrete house? <laughs> uh, I know a little bit like that, like higher class at the moment. It seems they, they build wooden house in their garden because they to make it like a memorial to their family from the past. Also, they like to preserve uh, traditional, also I don't know, but the way that they selection sometimes, like I, saw, I tell you that yeah, for yeah. show like that, normally not so good at all because no no lie on it. And then so far it will die because it will abandon, it will, it will be forgotten. Uh, example like something like that, it's shown, we, like we call, we can classify this how a uh, medium high uh, yeah. family. And like the touch roof house or something like that, they say medium or low or poor family, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one more thing that I am curious, like, is it hard to maintain wooden houses? Uh, when we talk about maintenance, concrete house, we need maintenance as well. But yeah. the way of maintenance, uh, it depends to what you choose because if you think a uh, concrete house that easy uh, to maintain by their way because they mop or they clean it far and save time and something like that but when you say oh concrete house must have 
clean, no cracking color, must be perfect and something. It's high maintenance as well. But compare one house to A to B, of course, would then have a little bit higher uh, difficult but to maintenance yeah. or spend more time or Material. more budget to maintenance. But, but to have a, a good house every day, you have to have maintenance. Maintenance anyway. Yeah, yeah, but some people say that they don't want to build a wooden house because because of the the woods that are really hard to clean up, not like the concrete that we use. That <laughs> that is the point because they don't like the wood. Of <laughs> yeah. course, they don't like wooden house. But people when they they like wood, they like wooden house. Yeah, so it's a matter of individual yeah. references. Like for people like me mm -hmm. or the other person or the young mm -hmm. Cam Cambodians in the next generation. Mm -hmm. They might not really be interested in the wooden house, but they know that wooden house has the value, mm -hmm. the historical value. Mm -hmm. So then how can the next generation contribute to the promotion of the wooden house if they might not really have a deep interest in it? For at the moment, the wood is rare and rare to find. Yeah. But I know that um, some rich people that who have a shoot land like concession land or development, they try to plant back the timber tree or the wood for construction. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 years or 20 years more, we can use it back to normal. But 20 years or 30 years later, maybe the way of people thinking different, not not traditional like that, but they build in another contemporary wood. Yeah. But I still hope with young Khmer architect can continue with new building material to keep to keep what identity of Khmer style or housing or any structure alive, continuing. Yeah, yeah, still continue. So um, traditional and modernity coexist, mm -hmm. and <laughs> we and we cannot ignore one of that. Oh, oh, yeah. no. You know the way of fashion to go through uh, very rare. Some country they still still not allow high rise mark, but most of country in the world they have already high rise because. Uh, we have small space, but we have many uh, level of uh, flooring to live, and it's a kind of competition. Yeah. But it means a fashion during this uh, 100 years from now. I don't know, uh, next 100 years is still a fashion, or people like said, oh, that become an ancient. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's become a history, just like a the history, <laughs> yeah. Regarding my wooden house, for my, I, so far I used to say that uh, my house have, have their, their own soul, their own uh, life that even from selected wood, from one piece like one column, two column, three column, the owner well selected, but when they selected already enough to build the house, Villager very very friendly share labor, even food or something together to help to build like to make the the house more more spirit more more memory and that that for the past Cambodian wooden house is a kind of uh, not only building factory but the building from heart, not only one person, from whole family, from neighbor, something like that. And people try to help to other people, try uh, to call people, oh, today is a house raising day, and neighbor, they can come and with labor and some, and the family take care of food and something, and they lay all the column up and something, and they enjoy food together and all good memory together. This more than than how that the story behind the house like that. The house like that when I build this, uh, this not not I am build new. It's preserved. We we move from Siem Reap River to here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but I still keep a community, but not really you uh, a villager, but we have a builder team and to do and we respect traditional, we have a chair to keep here to make uh, more uh, memory from it too. Yeah, so people have each other when building the wood. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. So that's, it means that now when building the concrete houses, people mm -hmm. don't really have that interaction or mm -hmm. like helping hand to one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I mean the cool. culture or uh, consolidation uh, together, like yeah. uh, we call hell together. And when the neighbor they build house, we go to hell too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's in the past. Mm -hmm. In the right. past, in the past. Yeah. Not now. Yeah, not, not now. now. Not now. Right. Although we build a wooden house, uh, only just won't come I, with us, I right? I can't say not <laughs> now at all. Now it still has some. Yeah. But I know that in uh, uh, Khmer Islam community, because when I just come back from Krishma uh, uh, district, uh, a lot of uh, uh, Khmer Cham community, which they living together, no, no, no private fan. Mm. They build the house, they work, they, they walk from underneath, from one house to another house, and still here, and one, I, I know that one keep doing something, the neighbor can see, they can come to hell. It's still, it's still not mean now. Uh, city people even never know the neighbor, but, yeah. but, but uh, people in the village, uh, it still have some. Yeah, yeah. So some remain. Yes. We, we still, we still. Yeah, yeah. Wood and how in some area create a sense of mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. and uni uni unity. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. Thank you so much, Mr. Sako, for uh, telling us about the trend <laughs> of the Khmer traditional woods nowadays <laughs> amidst the growing high rise building, high rising buildings.